Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Mania Legends. So there are two new weekend events out at the moment. And the first one being a VIP event called Trainer's Luck. So gather as much food as you can from any source. And the first prize for this is the Clover Dragon. And so obviously the Clover Dragon is a new guy and we've never had it in the game before because it was brought out in the most recent update. And it has the plant, light and earth elements, which is actually kind of interesting to be honest. But the reason this guy is out is because it's St. Patrick's Day, obviously. But we might as well participate because we're just about to go and collect our food. And then we also have Golden Opportunity. And spend as much gold as you can for a chance to earn special rewards. And the prize for this is the Zhuanzang Dragon. Whatever, however you say it, you know. But he was available a little bit ago. But he has the Void, Water and Energy, so not quite as weird as the other guy, but still an awesome dragon that I would love to be able to get a hold of. We probably definitely won't be able to win, but still, these two weekend events are actually kind of different from the normal ones, because it's not just spend food or whatever, they're just a tad different, which is actually a little bit interesting for a change. But there is also an offer on for the Shamrock Dragon as well. So we have the Baron of Pax, 2.4 million gold, a legendary habitat, and a Shamrock Dragon. And this costs £15.39 all up. The Shamrock is an epic as well, with metal, fire, and earth. So not a guy you'd be using in your team, but you know, he looks cool. He's got his yummy beard. And again, this is another guy to help celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So there's a few celebrations and whatnot going on, which is actually pretty exciting, which is cool. But we also do have a post on the DML Facebook page here that says, Tomorrow may be your lucky day. The official DML Facebook and Instagram pages are preparing something very special to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Are you ready for a new sweepstakes? And then we have this picture here with the uh, full leaf clovers and the gems. So yes, there is a new sweepstakes coming up. And um, no actual details so far, as far as I'm aware. But, you know, look forward to that. Maybe they'll have a dragon as the reward. I doubt it. Probably will just be gems, but for now we'll have to wait and see. And I don't think there's any other promotions on apart from there is a gem sale on at the moment. So 750 gems for nine pounds. You know, that's actually not too bad. And if you have two days to take it on, you know, if you have to use them for anything, then now is going to be a prime opportunity to be able to do it. But anyway, for now should actually do something we actually have a legendary recipe here not too bad because normally we uh we get absolutely demolished because we never get any legendary recipes so i'm glad that we got one so quickly actually uh we need these twizzly sticks whatever they're called wafer all there we go and we can get that by doing the side quest battles in the campaign so we'll go ahead and do that quick as well and these guys have almost finished breeding i mean it's been a very long breeding time again of course, but, you know, that's just what it's going to be like while we're trying to breed the briar. Everything has a long breeding time, long hatching time. It's just going to be very tedious at the end of the day. But, again, we'll get used to it, and when we finally do get the legendary, you know, it's going to feel good. It's going to be so good to finally get it out of the way. Again, I always think of it as, like, getting a breed out of the way rather than, yay, I get a cool new dragon. So I'm actually being kind of mean to the poor little baby dragos in this game, but, you know, it is what it is. It's just how I react. There we go. Clan quest completed. Milestone completed for trainer's luck as well. And we'll claim this. And then we need just two more of these sponge cake pieces. So I'm going to ask in case we don't get any good resets for it. But we might as well just go ahead and do some of these enchantment league fights anyway. So, do we need chocolate or whipped cream more? We don't, it doesn't really matter, actually. Uh, I'm just going to take whipped cream because we've got a little bit less. So, we'll go ahead and do this one for now. And, obviously, we can claim our cauldron as well. I mean, I haven't gotten any cool potions out of the level 2 one, obviously, because it's kind of bad. But, you know, I don't mind because I rarely use these potions anyway, especially down at this ranking. Because I just want to get the, the fights over and done with easy as pie. So that then I can just build up the wins that we need for our battle chest. And then just move on for the day. Although obviously that is a little bit annoying. 
because of the new key system. Because I keep getting to the point where it's just like, you can open two chests with a key by watching their ads. But, you know, watching their ads is so annoying. So, it's like, I don't want to watch the same Beauty and the Beast advert played 20 times over just to open some chests. And then eventually, they don't even give you the option and then you're just forced to wait anyway. But, you know, I guess it does stop people from farming them, but I thought that that was the whole point. To be able to farm them. I don't know. I guess they do that with a lot of things in this game though, like... If you don't have that many friends sending you portal gems, you can't just do endless fights. Uh, in the arena, it's the same thing. So I guess they just wanted it to have the same effect in the Enchantment League as well. So instead of just being able to go on endless fights, they limited you in that way. But, I mean, we already have to wait for our dragons to come back up after we fought with them. Isn't that enough? You want to hinder me more game? Why you gotta be like this? But I do wonder what the uh, sweepstakes are actually gonna entail. And uh, I'm assuming that there's no like art stuff going on. It's just gonna be a flat sweepstakes. If so, you know, that's pretty exciting. And uh, no, I, I am tempted to buy the shamrock. I'm not gonna lie because 15 quid is still quite a lot of money, but in the whole scheme of things, 15 pounds is a lot cheaper than a lot of other dragons can be. And even though the Shamrock isn't impressive or a great guy for your team, he's still a nice guy to add to the collection, and obviously he's seasonal as well, so it's like a guarantee that you'll definitely not be seeing him for another year. Because it's like, I don't believe they're just going to bring the Jingle Dragon out as a Dragon of the Week anytime soon. Uh, if they just brought out, like, the Santa Claus Dragon this month, I'd be a bit weirded out. And I think that's the same case with, like, the Shamrock, the Easter Dragons and everything, but who knows? But speaking of which, are we going to have an Easter event this year? I mean, we, we have the other two years. But how is the Cottontail going to come out again? Because last time I believe he was available in the dungeon. Because the first time he was part of a, an, an event, second time he was in the dungeon. So will he come out again? That's a good question. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. No one knows at the moment. And until Gameloft officially release it or talk about it themselves, then no one else is allowed to declare it anyway. Like, sometimes you guys go, Hey, Quacks, what's the Dragon of the Week? Or, Hey, Quacks, what's the Dragon of the Month? And I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I do know. But until Gameloft posts about it first, I'm actually not allowed to tell you. Not sure how many of you are aware of that, but there's basically no point in asking until I actually make a video out of it. I wish it wasn't like that, but that's just the way it is. And I have to say, I do like the Clover Dragon. It, it looks so weird, the way that it's designed. It looks like some weird poison ivy rather than actually like a four-leaf Clover Dragon or whatever. But, you know, new dragons, new update dragons, definitely some of my favourites. Because, you know, the newest stuff is, the more popular it is. The cooler it is because it's like, whoa, I haven't seen that dragon a billion times before. That's pretty nifty. It's like, if I saw the fire dragon now, I'd be like, oh great, another one, you know? I'm sure you understand what I mean at least. But it's just that sort of mindset. So there we go, we've claimed that. Let's pet some guys just because easy, easy pew pew. And again, it is a little bit annoying having to click so many times for this quest, but it takes some of the least effort, apart from the collecting food. Because that's just crazy easy if you have, like, the uh, high tier food at least. Not sure how it works for the lower levels, how much you actually have to collect, but... You know, just putting the hour long food or the six hour food in, you could just collect that in, like, one click. Easy. More collection, or more petting, I should say. When does this event end, actually? Ah! 14 hours? Why am I doing all this if it's not actually going to work? 
I do need this sponge cake, though. At least if we can complete a legendary recipe, that'll be something to make me feel like I haven't just abandoned the clan for this week. Yeah, and I'm sorry, I've been doing things. I've been going out most of the time, and uh, the times when I come back having to do something else, and just the, the, the dragon race this week has not been a priority, put it that way. Normally, I at least really try to make it more of a priority, but this week just didn't happen. But that's why I hold, I hold the mentality in my clan of as long as you get like one point per like set of things, or just one point per every couple of these clan events, I don't care then, because at least you've proven that you're not inactive. That's the main thing, because if someone's just inactive, there's no point in them being here. And so many people are like, I want to join your clan, I want to join your clan. They join the clan, and they just don't say anything, don't do anything. There's literally no reason for them to be there. And I'm thinking, why, why are you doing this? You're just ruin, ruining the opportunity for someone else that actually wants to join. And, uh, you know, if you're going to do that, that's very mean of you. Don't do that. Don't be a big meanie bum. Are you actually going to give me some sponge cake game, or are you just going to tease me permanently? Come on. More petting? Ugh! No, sponge cake is what I need. I don't need any more of these twizzle sticks now. You can get lost with those. Just need some simple, simple sponge cake. I've never actually made sponge cake, so I'm not sure how easy it is to create. I don't think it's that hard, though. But the twizzle sticks would definitely be harder in a real life situation, so they should be more common. Technically, I mean, this is a video game and we are petting these ridiculous forest dragons, so I guess it's not really completely realistic. But I think you get my point. And I guess it's just not going to be doing this for us today. I'm going to reset this one because I'm not going to do it. Score perfect hits for some whipped cream. No, I'm not going to do that. Use Dragon Fury. Get lost. Um, when side quest battles is like the closest one that we could do. Well, you know, game, if you're going to be like this, I'm just going to have to do this epic one for now. So I'm going to have to wait two and a, well, three hours for that to finish up. And then, you know, I will just refresh these to get some better recipes because there's no point in us doing those if they're not actually going to help out with anything. But we do have a big boy clan up here with 112,000 points. Uh, I doubt they're going to be getting to 150 though, and definitely not to 300,000, which is the max, which is... You need a crazy clan to get anywhere near that level, like, it's just insane, the requirements for that. Uh, but can we level up these guys now? I don't know if we're going to be able to level up the last one. Might as well give it a try though. And obviously we do have the trainer's luck stuff going on as well. I mean, if you have the really long food in at the moment, then you're actually a, a massive advantage for this. Oh, wait, do we need two level ups on you? Oh, good. We just managed to afford it. Oh, my goodness. Again, level 29s for Magma Layer. Why got to do this game? But we have that, and let's put in the hour-long food there. And so how are we doing so far? Position 277, gather as much food as you can. Yeah, obviously we're not going to be winning this one, and same with the spend as much gold as you can. But with the spending gold in these events, uh, I'm not sure how many people still do it, but uh, I believe the way to do it is normally just to go to the decorations, go all the way over here, find the golden hatchling, and just spend it. And just buy like 700 million of them is basically the uh, the tactic, which if we look at the scoreboard, I'm going to assume that that's going to reflect that very heavily. There we go. Uh, we've got 664 million there, and then we've got 1.3 billion as the top scorer already. So if we need to be in position 10 to win this dragon, then obviously you need to be spending at least 300 million at this point in time. And considering I only have 11, I have accepted defeat. 
But, you know, that's why when you get to a certain point, you just need to start hoarding all of your gold and everything and just not spending it like I always do. That will put you very much ahead of the other people. But it is hard to hold on sometimes. I understand that, but it's just the way that the game is. But, anyway, for now, good luck with the events if you are going for either of these dragons. The trainer's luck one is looking to be a little bit more competitive slash equal for the other anyone, just about, that is a decently high level, but... You know, it is a VIP only event, which does suck, so it feels bad if you're not a VIP. And uh, if you're still trying to breed either of these, the Dragon of the Month or the Dragon of the Week, you know, good luck with all of that stuff as well. But for now, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I will see you then.